back. Welcome to episode 5, part 3 of our first round matchup with the Dallas Stars. This is the Milwaukee Wildcats build, aka the Nashville Predators relocation series. Um, like I said in the go live notification, it is a best of three now. Um, as you can see, we lost game five or game four very, very decisively. Um, series is tied two to two. Hopefully, this is the only time I will say this. If we had competent goaltending, this series would be 3 1 us. I really believe that. Um, in game two, Jesper Foss scored a hat trick in essentially like a minute and a half. And then Tyler Sagan made it 6 to 1 uh, with, I think, like 2.8 seconds left to go in the second period. We did score two goals in the third to make it somewhat close, but we ended up losing 6 to 3. We ended up winning game five, game three, four to three, as you can see right there. Um, we, Tanner Janot scored with like 22.6 seconds to go on Jake Onger for the game three win. And game four, well, we weren't even in that game at all. Um, I won't rip on UC Saros that much right now. Um... But he has an 821 save percentage, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I was thinking about putting in Laurent Bressois, but at this point in time, we got to ride with uh, UC Saros. Um, regardless of what happens with this series, I am probably moving on from Saros uh, as soon as we get eliminated or win the cup. Either or. Um, but and then quickly, I'll just do a little quick rundown of the week. Um, I believe Friday I'm going to be doing the uh, San Jose Sharks build uh, I'm going to be sim watching that first round matchup against the Anaheim Ducks kind of a grudge match from uh, the year before Anaheim eliminated us in 6 uh, but we have home ice this time but that's not really much to brag because we went about 1 and 6 on home ice the series before and then on Saturday I plan on, again, the Sharks and the hur Hurricanes are going to be uh, probably broken out into two parts just because they're going to be starting them a little bit late. Um, I do have my little boy this week, so that is why those are going to be probably about a 10, 10.30 start time, uh, depending on the situation at home, probably closer to 10.30. It's just enough time to kind of uh, put Dale into bed. And then kind of get everything set up and ready to go. Um, so that's kind of the plan. Uh, no recording this week. I usually do those on Saturday, but um, next, not uh, obviously next week when I don't have my son, um, I probably do plan on streaming and recording probably at least five days. Um, I will get those days for sure. It's all kind of depending on my work schedule. So uh, what? When I don't have little man, it's a little easier to kind of get going. I can get going probably by 6 because uh, I work until about 4, um, except for Thursday. Thursday I work all day. It would have been mine and my wife's anniversary, so I have decided to work all day. And I know a lot of you are probably thinking that's nuts. I honestly do it all the time. Um, it's one of the perks of actually enjoying your job. So... Uh, like I said, I will probably get a stream schedule sometime Sunday like I've been trying to do lately. Um, so, unfortunately, no recording this week. Um, if I do decide to record, it'll probably be no more than like a two-hour video. I'm kind of thinking about maybe doing the first couple games, regular season games, and then finishing with the home opener for the Spartans. But that is very, very, very much TBD. Um, like I said, I don't want to be like, oh yeah, it's going to happen and then it not end up happening. So as of right now, it's probably not going to, but, uh, one of the days that Dylan is napping, I might just kind of jump on for a little bit. So without further ado, let's get this over with. No doubt about it. I am ready to get hurt again. 
CPU versus CPU. We got to defend against Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner. Okay. Here we go. This would be game number five. Ooh, series is tied two to two. And of course, I forgot to change that back. Resume. Okay. We probably won't get Crosby back this series. Tavares, we're up one nothing. It is game five, and that is the first time we have scored first. Milwaukee's looked like the more aggressive team, and for good reason now with the lead. Now they've got that lead, they can play with the pace that they want to. They can really control how this game is played. And Saros picked up an assist. I really wish we had confident goaltending. Seven, not even seven minutes, and I'm already saying that. I really do wish we had confident goaltending.
is that not a charge? 25 is hit on 13. What the fuck? Jonathan Taves. What are you doing, Slavin? You have to win that race, man.
So it can be bunched longer on the power play. Dallas wins the face off. Face off. Matthews can't wait to get back into the play. Picked up along the wall by Slavin. The Wildcats run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Oh man, what a good power play, but it doesn't change the big numbers up on the score clock. Couldn't score, but all kinds of chances. Sagan's got it against the board. We're in Dallas, why would they be enjoying it?
looking to break out. Handles the pass. Here's a short pass to Jones. And he takes the feed. The Stars played along the boards. Dishes it to Trennan. Quick feed to Taves. Puck dumped in. The Stars have it against the wall. Oh, they force the turnover. Taken along the wall by Pissick. Back to the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Taves. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And the puck's booted away. Can't find his man. Moves it to Taves. Control of the puck. Duchesne crossed the line and gained the zone. Puck scooped up by Tavares. Too much congestion in front. From behind the net, looks to break out. Moves it quickly over to Schmidt. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Sends the pass down low. Moves the puck down low. Scooped up along the wall by Heiskanen. Denied by the goaltender. And the puck's knocked loose. Shot! Too much traffic in the lane. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Quick pass to Forsberg. Milwaukee through center and now in the offensive end. The Stars gain possession. Moves it up. Feeds it over to Heiskanen. And now he tries to get it across to Marner. Nice feed. And now he moves it quickly to Stevenson. Play whistle dead offside the call. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. City gone when your dad gets up. Milwaukee's won the draw in the neutral zone. Poked away at center right. Oh, and he gets in front of that to make a great save. There's the horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players. Ice, back with a third period next. I really can't blame Saros on that goal. Two goals on 12 shots.
Hey Natasha, how you doing? waving but you can't see it Still lots of time left in the period oh got a tie game. did you work today come on otter don't be a pussy play it Riding mower or push mower? And if it's a push mower, is it one of those self propelled ones? That's off sides. You don't have that big of a yard, do you, Natasha? I always kind of thought mowing was kind of therapeutic, a little bit. So I always liked uh, kind of going from like the long scraggly glass to nice and short and cut and pretty and and that's good that you helped out your mom. It's always good when you help out the parentals. Yeah, the 100 degree heat, that's usually not fun. Like, we won't mow the yard at the rink unless it's like under 75. Otherwise, we just wait for the city to do it. Oh, oh, right there! say again, I don't really want it to go to overtime because I have a terrible record in overtime. Doing anything is too much if it's hot. Oh no. So Natasha, just to fill you in, I am not playing any of these games, I am just watching. 
Uh, this is one of the series that I actually just uh, build a team and see if we can win. You're fine. Do what you gotta do. I'll be here for probably one more game. Yeah, that's why the... A series like this is why I do the other ones where I can just beat the shit out of people because EA likes to fuck me in the ass with a cactus. Get it the fuck out of there. Boys, I looked offside. Oh, fuck you, Sagan. I don't know if you're still there or not, Natasha, but uh, I actually relocated this team from Nashville. This is the first year we're in Milwaukee. Move it up, move it up, move it up. Uh, it's when like when you relocate a team. It's when like you start like we started in Nashville, but we moved the team and uh, uh, moved them to uh, Milwaukee. It's pretty much like you pretty much you pick up and move somewhere else. Seattle, on the other hand, was an expansion team and they were just a brand new team. And we got overtime. This is not going to be fun. Just make it quick, Dallas, okay? Just make it quick. I know it's going to be Dallas scoring because our goalie has a 900 save percentage. Oh, we win! Okay. And we take game five in overtime on the strength of a Philip Forsberg goal. Like I said, there wasn't much Saros could do on that. He had exactly a 900 save percentage. We go to game number six with a chance to eliminate the stars now. Uh, it's more like their hips. Their hips are usually worse than their knees unless like uh, they take like a puck to the knee or they move side to side and they end up tearing like an ACL or something. Who the fuck am I going to send down? Okay, I'll send down Marco Scandella. Best AHL lines, it doesn't fucking matter. Check our lines 
here real quick. What's ARG? You're not even playing that kid? What the fuck? We don't need 81 overall, eh? So him and Goose are ready to come back? Yeah, I'm okay with this. Okay. Play game. Actually, let's see how our AHL team did. Let's see if they got knocked out. And they did. Our AHL team is done. I have honestly only seen it once from a goalie. Uh, Mike Richter, actually. Yeah, he was moving post. He was moving side to side, like post to post, as they call it. And let's just say he slid right into uh, the post and. His leg stopped, but his body did not. And he skated off under his own, pretty much Owen Power. Not to be confused with Owen Power. Okay, we have a chance to eliminate Dallas in game six. Get the fuck out of here, Fly. And we just took a penalty right away in the game. Fantastic. Forsberg, come on, buddy. You wear that C for a reason. It's not for Captain Slash. Hey, Natasha, can you still hear me pretty good? I moved the mic a little bit. So I can actually see the chat. Okay, good. I just moved the mic over slightly so I can see the chat and the time. Yes, we're fast. Stop. And in case you're wondering, Natasha, I have only have won one cup solo. In about a year and a half of doing this, and me and Sean have also won one together. Uh, those are the only two uh, championships I've ever won doing this other... And when I say doing this, I mean like watching it and whatnot. Because, I mean, obviously if I play, we're winning cups. Looking to break out here on the power play. Me, 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 me. Thoros, can you start playing like a 90 overall, please? What did I say? I said if we had 900 save percentage goaltending, we would probably be winning the series. Thoros posted a 900 save percentage and we won. Do you see how that works? It's like I know what I'm talking about. No. Not Sagan, anybody but Sagan. Sagan, no. Come on, guys, we're, we're full strength. Let's go. That's that looked offside. Uh, right now the game is computer generated, but if you play, it actually learns like your moves and shit like that. 
Like the AI can learn, but that's only if like you're playing. It definitely makes doing an 82 game season fun. Cause like there'll be times where like I'll score one way like for like 15, 20 games, and then I'll have to change it up for about another 15 to 20, and then by that point in time, you're like 40 game, 40 ish games into the year, and then uh, you just kind of try stuff that works. Okay, Saros. Okay. Month of ours. Damn it. So, five out of the six games Dallas has scored first. Guys, we got to play better in our defensive zone. Holy shit. It's two times we could have gotten possession of the puck and we didn't. I don't know what you're doing with Harley there. You just are pissed. Like, you just let him skate in like that. He's a fucking AHL plug and you turned him into fucking Bobby Orr. Christ, guys, let's go. You guys want to go back to Dallas for Game 7? I sure don't. Go, go, go. Oh, damn it, Forsberg. Nice hit, nice hit, nice hit. Get the puck. Come on, guys. Come on, that's Connor Clifton. Guys. Atkinson, can you take a better shot than that? Or not Atkinson, Forsberg? Yeah, it was Atkinson. Can you move it? Oh my god.
You took that lead like 15 minutes ago. Dallas wins the draw. Foss moving it ahead. Not Faust again. I have nightmares about Victor Faust. Or Jesper Faust. Whoever has the sorrow sign in the ble in the stands, can you uh, kindly remove it? Because I'm pretty sure whatever it said on it was a lie. Full two minute power play on fresh ice. Ty fucking Delandria. Guys, we need to get more than 14 shots. There are more than four shots. Taking a penalty right away doesn't help either, but. Thank you, Victor. I appreciate that. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Steps inside the line. And a good solid hit on that play. Pass broken up. And they move the puck in a hard way. Dallas has it behind the net. Say, Natasha, if you have any questions about hockey as you're watching, you can feel free to ask. There's about a 99% chance that I can answer correctly. Nice hit, nice hit, nice hit, nice hit. Headman, what are you doing by their fucking blue line on a penalty kill? Uh, I don't know everything, but I know quite a bit. That's why I said I can. Uh, there's probably about a 99% chance I can answer it. No. Dump it. Good job, Horvath. Are you fucking kidding me with that? Natasha, what do you think of those jerseys? The blue ones, obviously, not the white. Oh, oh I thought I was getting another penalty or worse than injury. Got my throwing bottle. God, it really bugs me how they say snipe. Like, I understand you want to appeal to the younger generation, but come on. Younger generation is going to play this whether they say snipe or not. And they get that puck down the ice. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Yeah, but I created those jerseys. Stevenson's going to play the 
That came from my own brain. You're supposed to say they're beautiful. I'm a Jersey guy too, as you know. Guys, Saros is actually bailing us out for once. Can we give him some fucking run support, please? That's more like it, Natasha. Thank you. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Sagan, you ain't gonna do a fucking thing. Fuck off. This series is so backlogged that I'm pretty sure I designed these jerseys with me and Diane were still together. We've just been doing other series too much, I guess. Doesn't help when you have to, uh... Do one year twice. Cause I ended up getting fired, but then I said, "Fuck it, I'm not gonna take that lane down." So I found a point before the season started. What is that? Guys, Saros is bailing us out. Like, can we give him some run support? Can we give him some help, please? I liked everything about that power play, James, except the fact that they couldn't put it in the net. Everything about it looked really good. Milwaukee's got a hold of it along the wall. There's a firm collision. And now he moves it quickly to Robertson. And that carries off a body of traffic. The Wildcats have it against the wall. Grabbed along the board. Sorry about the creaking chair. And he still has an 8.59 save percentage, and he's been fucking lights out tonight so far. 14 plus 9 is 23. We're being outshot 23 to 5. Hey, but we just tied the game. That's beautiful. Hey, you sing you let the heart out, my dear. Or, Natasha, I'm sorry. the brother or uh, she's not there let's go boys let's, let's turn up here and match Oh god. Fucking 
need 60. do the job. Milwaukee's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, they've gotten themselves to within one. Now they've got a power play opportunity to try and even the score. The best power plays always work. I go away for two seconds and they score a goddamn goal. It's the curse, I'm telling you. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing, Tavares? Go skate to the puck. Turn and go, 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 turn and go. Oh my god!
third period tied at two uh, tied at two How did we take a penalty with one of our guys getting hit? Probably gonna regret this, but I'm gonna go pee. Okay, I see nothing bad has happened. Of course it has to be Tyler fucking Sagan.
was that slaving? Come on. See, Slavin's playing with Hedman, so that means Boquist is probably hurt. Get the fucking puck, Egginson! What the fuck are you doing? Are you fucking joking me? Jesus, age, fuck! I had two guys that just sat there by the fucking post and didn't go after the loose puck. Are you fucking kidding me? Atkinson, you're gone. From the defensive zone, they moved the puck around. There was no time to take your foot off the pedal now. This game is tight and it's gonna go right down to the wire. Focus is important. Ottinger's gonna opt for the west one, give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around and the shit gets wrong. This helps. Okay, this is what the fuck I'm talking about here. What is that? Like, what the actual fuck? Him and Horvat, what are you doing? Okay, Bulquist is out there. I see him right there. But that doesn't mean that he's going to be out next game. So we got to keep that in consideration. Hey, Natasha, you just missed a meltdown on me. Or for me. I had two guys that would have easily gotten the puck behind their zone, behind their net. And they just both sat there and looked at it. I even watched the replay. Kind of want to trade them. Or use bag of pucks at this point in time. Jesus H, fuck! What are you doing? Oh my God, idiots is the nice term.
Guys, this game has been sloppy as fuck. Slavin, what are you doing? You're puck watching. Everyone is fucking puck watching. The Stars will play it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Marchman. Great read to break up the play. Read that perfectly with the puck check. Grabs it in his own end. Dallas plays it along the board. Come on, guys. Have some urgency. Yeah! Hey Cam, maybe you don't want to be traded, eh? And it looks like for the second straight game, we will require overtime. So let me break this down for you, Natasha, since you're not a hockey girl yet. Um... If we score, we move on. But if Dallas scores, we go back to Dallas for game seven. So as you can tell, I really want to score the next goal. Hey, you got Seattle now. You got the Kraken. Forsberg, what are you doing, bud? Guys, we got a quality game out of UC Soros. Don't you fucking dare. Thank you. Doesn't matter. He's done. The AHL is done. I just want to see something here. Okay, so Victor Hedman makes ten million dollars. Okay, 
<laughs> There's no way in hell Matthew or Marner signed for less than $11 million in their next contracts. Last game of the year, boys. We had our shot in game six. You blew it. You know what's on the line. Fucking got a quality game out of Sorrows, and we have to fucking go to game seven. Oh God, who got hurt? One, two, three, four, five, okay. I see five guys fighting, so that's good. Or five guys standing there. I am so fucking pissed how that game six ended. Finally, we got a really good game out of Sorrows, and you fucking blow it, boys. I gotta move on from Granlin, too. I think it's time. He never gets better than an 84. And the funny thing is, I can't, well, I mean, Saros didn't control the rebound very well. So the defenseman's got to be there to control the rebound and clear the garbage. And not leave Mitch Marner all alone, far post, wide open. Get up. I don't care if you have a severed leg. You will get up. 
You could get decapitated, and I still expect you to skate off the ice. We haven't looked good since the end of game five. And even then, that game was iffy, too. Dallas is the better team here. Oh, we hurt someone? It's probably not as bad of a loss as uh, not having Sidney Crosby in your lineup. Probably some fourth liner anyway. What was that? Don't do that. You're making very good time on this stream. Milwaukee's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick feed to Hintz. We've had two overtime games, too. Dallas will try to make something happen here in the offensive zone. Cover, 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 cover. No, I wonder. Okay, 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 okay. I trust you, Saros. Famous last words. If I was in my own apartment right now and I didn't have Dallin, I would probably throw that pop bottle that's on my desk and yell fuck really loud. My neighbors are gonna hate me. Right, yes! God, boys. Ellie Toven in. Okay, could be worse. 
Could be worse. We could be down one nothing. We could be down. Got 40 minutes of that here, boys. Is it bad if I kind of hope we do get eliminated just because I want to tinker with this team? I know there's moves that I can do that'll make us better. I really feel like we're better than third in the division. Yeah, I didn't hurt any of their big boys. Probably hurt Tyson Yost. I thought Marner was going to clean that garbage up. So, Natasha, if you're still there, do you want to hear a funny story? Sorry, cutting. Um, so we put Dylan uh, to bed around 10 o'clock, and I started getting set up. My sister went out. My sister was getting ready to go outside and smoke, and my parents were in the kitchen. And my dad turns to us and said, "Who started the dishwasher?" And me and my sister, like we never touched the dishwasher, right? And so my mom ends up coming out, and we ask her, "Like, did you start the dishwasher?" And she's like, "No." And then my dad's like, "I didn't start it." Come to, then I remembered I was sitting on the couch watching Monster Trucks. Uh, this is probably about half hour before uh, I put Monster Trucks on for Dylan, but I ended up liking it more than he did. Um, and I heard him playing with something out in the kitchen, so I'm like, Dylan, I'm like, come here, or I'm like, come back out here. I thought he was playing in like the Tupperware drawer, but. You know, as a kid, he likes to press buttons, and he started the dishwasher. I know it probably, probably wasn't that funny, but I thought it was kind of funny and cute. And he also decided to uh, unravel the toilet paper in the bathroom, too. So you can tell we have a two-year-old here. Or almost two. He turns two in 14 days. Oh boy, I'm going to have a two-year-old in 14 days. <laughs> there was no soap in the dishwasher. <laughs> wants to help out, he can wash my clothes. We lost this series in game six. I don't think there's any dishes in there. Actually, you know what? There was dishes in there because this morning when I had my muffin so I could take my crazy pills, I got muffin on the countertop and then I opened the dishwasher and I had to close it because it stunk so bad. 
Right there, right there, right there. Oh, come on, you know. That is very true. That is very true, Natasha. I didn't think about it like that. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Dallas is trying to build on that one goal lead. The Stars win the draw. Milwaukee's gained possession along the boards. Here's a shot. That was amazing. What a save by Hunter. Went to the park today for yes. Went to the park today for about oh, at least an hour and a half today too. He loved the park. Both teams sliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. The stars win it. Puck scooped up by Smith. Don't let Jesper Foss near our net. For this game, I'm gonna get some frosted flakes. And sneaks in there on the tie up and comes up with the puck. Streaking through center. I wonder why I'm gaining weight. Looks to get the puck over to Slavin. And now he moves it quickly to Duchesne. Here's a chance. Turned aside with the glove by Archer. That's interference on us. Holy shit. I'm not calling that? Dylan also had two very, very, very bad shits. I think he's teething again. And I don't think he can handle his chocolate milk anymore, which kind of disappoints me, but... I think he's getting his uh, two-year molars. Congratulations, Saros. You have ten saves. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's getting in his back molars because he's been sticking his hand almost down his throat. He's been drooling a lot. Uh, I don't think he's lactose intolerant because he drinks uh, regular milk perfectly fine. 
Hey, see, I'm pretty sure Diane's been having him drink more juice, but I just wasn't able to get him any at Walmart today. I kind of forgot about it. They get him the like the juicy juices with the Paw Patrol heads on it or whatever. I gave him a couple of chocolate milk today because he threw a temper tantrum, so that's how I know he's mine. Hope he's not lactose. And well, if he is lactose intolerant, that means more milk for me, I guess. Eight thirty three save percentage for UC Soros. one's uploaded. Uh, I don't think it should be too much longer. This is game goes to overtime too, which I hope it doesn't. He gave up a cross crease goal the last game. What are you fucking smoking? Him, he hits him gliding. Like, I don't know what you want him to do and not fucking hit him. I hear ticking. and hope it's not a bomb. Probably shouldn't say that on Twitch. Oh my god. Thank you, Tavares. I wish they would show replays. You know what? I didn't see that goal because I was too busy going to rip on UC Saro. So I want to see the replay of that goal. So I'm sorry, Natasha, but I'm going to piss you off here for a second. All I heard was post. Oh, he just shelves it on him. Okay. That's fair.
they just took the lead. Like, how is it? Ooh, it's inevitable that this game's gonna. Like, it was one face off, right? Like, shut up. Not you, Natasha. Because I know your last name's Ray, but the guy talking is Ray Ferraro. Why is that not a charge? Gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Seven thirty three save percentage. Utterly fantastic, Saros. You single handedly have cost us this series. This game is so unrealistic. It actually has Mitch Marner and Austin Matthews showing up in the playoffs. Oh, Natasha, you don't get that, but I'm sorry, but that would have been really funny for anybody. They don't really show up for the playoffs. Like I said, we lost this in game six. Normally I'd be like, let's trade everybody now, but I want to take my time with this because I do got to think about the moves, but because I'm concerned Atkinson is gone, Saros is definitely gone. I'm debating about Horvat being gone. They feel like if I move these guys, I can free some salary cap and I can bring other people in. Okay, now I know this game is fucking with me because Mitch Marner almost has a hat trick in game seven. We're fucking dominating this game, but it's UC Saros is fucking us again. And we had a 3 2 series lead, too. We were a shot away from eliminating Dallas, and now we are six and a half minutes away from being eliminated. Sports are fun. Come on, guys. Come on. Keep pushing. That does not help. You should have just let whoever drill him, drill him, man. Cool, whoever stepped up to make that hit, you just made it a four on two.
Wes, you had some fucking time and space. Skate it up next time. point in time we need offense we don't need to sit back if you have time and space skate it I do gotta edit one thing with the helmets too I gotta make the chin straps uh, gray I don't like black it's not part of our jersey scheme they have 18 shots and four goals. One last gas to make something happen on this power play. They go on the attack through center. Fucking come on and say it. UC Saros cost us his goddamn series. He played one good game. And he played another decent game. And the good game we played in, we lost. The decent game was game five when we won three to two in overtime. Great, I'm glad you hurt Noel Chari when it's too fucking late after he has fucking two goals and an assist. Oh, he's not even hurt anyways on the fucking bench. Like I said, we lost this in game six. We were a shot away. Fucking shot away. Fucking goddamn shot away. And that is UC Saros' last game as a member of the Milwaukee Wildcats. <laughs> Don't console him. He cost us the fucking series. Multiple times. That goal should never go in. Especially from Mason Marchman. If it was from like Jason Robertson or Austin Matthews or even Mitch Marner, like I would be like, okay, that's a nice shot. But it's fucking Mason Marchman.
Okay, so he... He had a 75 save percentage. Okay. Doesn't fucking matter. Okay, you guys know the drill. We see who wins the cup and then we sign off. It doesn't fucking matter. We're done. Again, it doesn't fucking matter. We're done. Doesn't fucking matter. Oh, that makes me irritated. Uh, let's go back. I want to see where Dallas got knocked out at. Toronto and Edmonton, eh? So Dallas got knocked out in the very next round. If Toronto wins the Stanley Cup, we are the ultimate loser. Edmonton's up. Edmonton's up. Yet. Let's just see what other people are offering here. Anaheim for five years, 2.4 million. Boston for five years at 5.5. That's kind of tempting. But no. Buffalo, come on. Calgary, fuck off. Chicago, just because you're Chicago, no. Colorado, I uh, could have get more money. Hey, Dallas, go fuck yourself. Detroit, on the other hand. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Milwaukee Wildcats, uh, they are offering me 2.2 .2 for three years. Under, really, New York? That's all you can do? The New York Rangers, 5 million for four years. Ottawa, you can go fuck yourself. Tampa, you can go fuck yourself. Toronto, you can definitely go fuck yourself. Winnipeg, that's a joke. Okay, let's go accept the uh, Wildcats offer. That says Milwaukee, 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 Milwaukee. Do, 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 do. Okay. Hey, we lost to the Calder Cup champs in the first round, eh? That's not too bad, I guess. Um, I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to sim up to the retirements and check those out, and then I will call it a stream. So, Natasha, if you want to... Sign off, you can. You're not missing much. I'm just going to do my social plug, and that's about it. I don't think I did my other uh, owner goal. San Jose, New York. Austin, Carolina. Okay, that would never happen in the actual NHL draft lottery. I'm just saying. The only two teams that flipped looked like the Islanders in Boston. Because Carolina was fourth, Montreal was fifth, LA six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. You just offer me a new contract, go fuck yourself. Be retired players, let's see if anybody retired from us. Oh Sidney Crosby retired? Sidney Crosby played his last game and he got hurt. That's disappointing. 
Gustav Nyquist retired as well from us. He was hurt as well. Let's check the goaltenders. Jonathan Quick, Carey Price, Brian Elliott. Looks like nobody from us. Okay, let's go back. Sidney Crosby is now a coach and Kopitar. And Paul Stassi, I think I know my coaching staff. Uh, let's see if I got anybody that retired. I'm looking for both Milwaukee. I don't see anybody retiring from us. I thought he was a coach. There are players that are now coaches. Okay. The following players uh, from your team are now a scout and are eligible. That makes no sense. Continue simming. Um, can I fire my coach? Who is my coach? I can't hire staff, can I? How much money does that free up? Frees up six and a half million dollars. So I am roughly going to free up six and a half. Why did you sign the extension if you're going to retire, Crosby? I think I can move on from Atkinson. He's an 82. So I am looking to add or free up about... What do you want, Tavares? I like you more at two and a half. I'll give you two and a half. Um, Crosby retired, so that frees up six million. Uh, I am trading Saros, so that wow, I'm gonna have I have five hundred thousand dollars in cap space right now. But when I trade Saros away, it frees up seven, and then Crosby retired, so that's six point five. <laughs> That frees up about thirteen and a half million dollars. Sidney Crosby's already an assistant coach for us. Okay, that works. Okay. We have fired our entire coaching staff. I'm, I might give Sidney Crosby the head coaching job. So, um, yeah. Gonna wrap it up there, uh, Natasha. Thank you for coming out. If you're still with me, um, it's always nice having someone in the chat and not make me feel all alone. So that's nice. But as always, if you have missed any part of this episode or any of the other episodes in this series, you can always go back to the YouTube channel where I make playlists uh, for everything. Um, so if you miss any part of this episode or any of the ones in the series, you can always go back and watch them uh, in order. Um, as you can tell, I label everything pretty good. If you also want to, you can always uh, go back and binge watch the other series that we do, the Buffalo one, the Chase, um, the Wisconsin Spartans, just to name a few. Those are all playlisted as well. Follow us on Facebook when the NHL preseason rolls around. The NHL scoreboard recap will come back. When the regular season uh, kicks off, the uh, game recaps for the Red Wings, Rangers, uh, I will be doing those, and then Sean will be doing at least Colorado, maybe Buffalo, still TBD on Buffalo, 
Um, I do got to ask him about that because the Rangers' first game is at Buffalo. So if he does cover Buffalo, he will be doing that game recap. Um, and then when championship season rolls around, um, we will go into the covers like we did last year. That was honestly a lot of fun covering the different uh, levels of hockey, kind of the three main ones, um, the NHL, AHL, and ECHL. Um, it was a lot of fun covering those. Again, I actually watched Game 7 of the Calder Cup Final. Um, other than the cameraman, that was honestly a pretty good game. Um, and also on Facebook, we use that to send the link out when we go live. Um, I like to do it at least 15 minutes, but I prefer a half hour in advance. Um, sometimes I forget. And then if we do stream, or if we're planning on streaming, and we do not... Uh, I'll make an announcement there and vice versa. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Again, that is only used for sending the link out when we go live. Um, and then info about if we stream and then if we don't stream. Uh, check out Facebook for that. Um, and then follow us on Instagram. It's pretty much just a screenshot of the video posted with the link with the uh, episode description. Um, so always watch out for that on Instagram. I don't know how to send or copy and paste links. I know you kind of have to copy and paste it from the description and it doesn't really like, can't click on it, which I don't know why. Um, I might kind of fuck around with that for a little bit. Uh, upcoming streams will be Friday. That is going to be the San Jose Sharks series against the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, that is going to be a part one, so probably the first four games. Uh, just kind of depending on how they go. I mean, we could go down 3-0, then if it's 3-0, I'll probably just stop it there. Um, but, And then I want to say Saturday I will I'll be doing Win Now Carolina. That is the preseason sim. I want to do that because I want to kind of watch Jacob Slavin and Jack Drury and then all the players that we've drafted. Because uh, it's been going on four years, and Jack Drury and Jacob Slavin are still low 80s, high 70s. So, and I got those other players I drafted, they're already high 70s, and then they're in the first year. So, I might uh, make some tough decisions. Yeah, I might make some tough decisions with that. Um, so, I look forward to that. Uh, check back on the Facebook page for start times. Uh, it is my week with my boy. So start times will probably be after 10.30 or around 10.30, probably after 10 o'clock. Um, and then stay tuned for Facebook for uh, the next week's stream slash recording schedule. Um, again, no recordings this week. I might try to attempt one on Saturday, but right now it's probably 50-50 on if I do it. Actually, it's probably lower than that. Uh, probability of me doing it uh, that would have to be when Dylan is napping which I mean is also a possibility because he sleeps for like three hours so as always uh, subscribe on YouTube follow on Facebook Twitter Twitch and Instagram if you've made it this far in the video I appreciate you Natasha if you're still there thank you for coming I see you messaged me in the chat so sorry about that um Kind of thanks for coming out. Um, I hope you all have a good night. Fuck the stars. <laughs>